Grand Rising. I woke up early this morning. I had to cut my hair, shave. You know, I was too broke in college to afford a haircut, so I learned to cut my own hair. Once people noticed that I was good at it, then I started cutting everybody else's hair on campus. Gotta hustle, right? Plus, I need to make sure I'm well groomed so my daughters understand what kind of men they can bring home when they get older. Gotta set the example. I wanna do a series of videos this morning called The Great Divide Must End. I wanna address the fact that we're always looking for the differences among us, as opposed to the commonalities that can unite us. You have foundational African Americans over there. You have black people who don't think they're African right here. And then you have the immigrants. You understand what I'm saying? All black people looking for the differences to be separated, to be divided. We gotta stop that shit because we're gonna perish individually. But we can survive, we can be stronger as a unit. Have y'all been paying attention to a real protest, a real boycott? Have you seen these truck drivers on the Canadian border? They're not just affecting Canadian businesses. They're now shutting down plants in Michigan, auto plants. It's called a domino effect. That's what a collective can do when they're well organized. A lot of y'all just talk. We have $1.6 trillion in spending power. We don't even use it effectively to get the changes that we want. We just keep talking. I can't keep y'all black asses away from the NFL. You want to watch the fucking Super Bowl. You want to shop at their stores. You can't even fucking shop at black businesses for 90 days. They know your tendencies. They, they know your weaknesses. So why the fuck should they respect you? Y'all ain't ready for change. I just want to fucking dream about it and talk about it. I believe I left off with the um, foundational blacks arrogantly calling themselves that because they believe they were part of the foundation of this country, which is basically delusion. Because if you're a slave, if your ancestors were enslaved, they didn't capitalize off of anything here. So you can't, a foundation basically holds up a house. You understand what I'm saying? Your ancestors didn't hold up American society. They built the capitalistic foundation of this country and got exploited. You understand? There's a difference. Whether your ancestors were here or the Caribbean, they all came to America, Jamaica, Haiti, Trinidad, the same way, like sardines on a ship bound, defecating on themselves, urinating on themselves, food being thrown at them, being degraded. You understand? You understand the condition your forefathers were brought here? They were all brought to the West the same fucking way. You understand? So now we're finding reasons. We're using the white arrogance. I'm better than you. I've been here longer than you. I'm different from you. To separate ourselves. You understand? It's no different than white people saying to you, you're less than them. When you point the finger to another black person, whether it's an immigrant or anybody. Because you refuse to accept that on your level, you want more credit. As, as far as the foundational blacks in this country, let me just explain something to you. Haitians fought for this country in 1776, 79, almost 100 years before the so-called foundational blacks were allowed to even join the Union Army. So we all like this. Stop separating yourselves. All right? 
Let me just pick up where I left off. Some of y'all foundational blacks may not know this, okay? While your ancestors were still enslaved here with no freedom in sight, okay? There were 500 Haitians on U.S. soil in Savannah fighting to liberate America against the British, okay? I'm talking about you guys were on a plantation somewhere, okay? So please do not allow people like Tariq Nasheed, who's more of an opportunist, to divide you, to keep you separated. Because when he was ready to talk about black valor, where did he go? He went to Haiti because he knows the history. So don't let him talk that shit about immigrants and all this other shit. He's a divider, an opportunist who wants to pin you against your fellow brothers and sisters. I'm a uniter. When we divide ourselves, we're conquered. That's what they did to us. That's how they enslaved us. You want the same shit to repeat itself? It's already happening in a different way, but you're not paying attention to the root of it. Let me just explain something to you. The only reason that you can call yourself foundational blacks today is because the U.S. came late to the party. I'm talking about slavery, okay? The U.S. hadn't colonized, didn't get a chance to colonize any of the islands in the Caribbean because France, Britain, Portugal, and Spain had already gotten all the fucking colonies. The U.S. had no choice but to bring the black people they kidnapped illegally from Africa onto their soil. So just like the Haitians, the Jamaicans, the Brazilians, your nationality was forced upon you. You understand? Calling yourself foundational doesn't give you any more right than anybody else who's black in this country. Period. You had to fight here, but guess what? When the Haitians fought for Haiti, they also liberated black people all over. Wake up. Now, I want to address the lack of respect that immigrants, when they get here, have for African Americans. But before I do that, I need to show y'all what y'all have in common. Because I represent both sides of the fucking culture, okay? See, a lot of African Americans, when their community, their neighborhood, starts to get bad, infested with drugs and crime, the first thing they fucking do, if they have the ability, they pack their shit and move to the fucking suburbs. Guess what your fellow brethren in Africa, in the Caribbean, do? When they facing the same type of strife. Those with the ability. The financial means. They pack their shit. They move to America. London. Paris. Or wherever that money can fucking take them. So y'all got, got that shit in common. Okay. So you can't call out one another on that shit. Period. I asked my father why he left his home country. Because he can't see how I'm a fighter and he wasn't. Guess what? All his fucking kids now, they're considered African American. When you go apply for a fucking job, if you're a black person, that's the only choice that you have. You understand? Some of my father's grandchildren don't even fucking speak his language because he's assimilated. You understand? I do have a problem with immigrants 
who don't appreciate the struggle of African Americans. You have access to this country because of the struggle and the fights of the African Americans. You have the opportunities that you have here when you get here because they have been here all they had been there already. They open these fucking doors for you. They march. They boycott. They protest. And you just show it up. And not showing them any fucking respect. The fuck is wrong with y'all? Equilibrium. Fair is fair. I'm a uniter. You want to point to your fucking flaws? I point them out for you. You want to point to your strengths? I'll do that too. You understand? The goal is for us to unite. Hopefully this is the last part of the series, right? I want to talk about how immigrants view America and how African Americans view America. All right? First of all, let's get something clear. African Americans have lived with these devils for centuries now. They have been subjected to the oppression, marginalization, subjugation, and exploitation by these motherfuckers for centuries. So they can't see them the same way that you do because you know why? Every fucking opportunity that the African Americans have, they have had to fight them for it. They have had to shed blood for it. You, as an immigrant, you're just coming up here just to enjoy those opportunities they fought hard for. And you don't even respect that. A lot of immigrants, before they even get here, they put white people on a fucking pedestal. It's not until after they get here and they start to experience racism. And I'm talking about being here for a decade or two. Because most of the time, when they get here, they're very passive, submissive. The white man is a fucking god to y'all. Not even understanding or realizing the reason why you in this fucking country to begin with is because this fucking devil was marginalizing, subjugating, and exploiting and oppressing you from afar. They're the reason your country is so fucked up that you had to leave and come over here to begin with. But y'all can't see it. Y'all go home. America's the land of opportunity. Yeah, they're creating opportunities here by taking it away from you. Take away your fucking resources. Destabilize your fucking country. Fuck up your in industry. Just like I said before, if I go to your house and steal your television and you need to watch TV, guess what you're going to be doing? You come into my house and knock on my fucking door to watch your TV. And you're going to think my house is better than yours because I have a TV which really belong to you. So African Americans, they can't hold these devils in the same high regard as you do as an immigrant because you're too blinded by your own subjugation to understand the root of it. Black people here have had to live with these motherfuckers forever.